everybody. Um, I want to make a quick video here. I uh, wasn't planning on doing one this quick, but uh, move back a little bit. Uh, ended up getting some VCLT and some stuff in the mail, and thought, why not? Let's do a video. And everybody's upstairs sleeping, so I thought I'd do a little fireside chat here. Um, anyways, so uh, I got some VCLT. Inspiration for the fireside chat was, of course, Andrew, Tales from the Crate. Uh, got some VCLT here from Bill, uh, the Vinyl Verse. Um, great guy. Uh, most of you guys already know him. Uh, one of the nicest guys in the VC. I was happy to send him something. I did not, whenever I send something out, I don't expect something in return. Um, it's just something I wanted to do. Um, he was definitely on that list, so I sent him some stuff. And... Um, he was nice enough to send some stuff back, so it is appreciated, but uh, not necessarily. So um, he sent me two packages. And let me just show you. This was sitting on my porch, guys. Like, think I have a problem? No. I've never gotten a crate of records like that from the mailman. Um, so I pre-opened these. So the first one looks like one of two here. So. There's a spoiler in there or not, so. First one here. Look at that. The Ragtime Jug Stompers, Dave Von Ronk. Cool. It's on the Mercury label. Very cool. <laughs> they have a song called Digging My Potatoes. I like it. I'll put that on, man. Much appreciated. Ooh, look at that. I do not have this one, Bill. Um, it's McCoy Tyner Enlightenment. It's on Milestone. Very, very cool. Let's see who plays with them on this one. Well, double album. Coy Tyner, Ozer Lawrence, Johnny Booth, Alphonse Razan. Oh, very cool, man. I can't believe you sent me two of them, too. Too much, Bill. I'll save your note to the end here. I've seen this before. Giants of one of those Giants of Jazz box sets, Coleman Hawkins. Yeah, I never picked these up. I've seen them quite a bit. Oh, I see. Kind of pops out like that. Oh, very cool. And give these a spin, Bill. Thank you very much. Even had a sleeve for the box set. Very cool. Thank you, man. Um, so, anyways, the note is, uh, Hey Chris, Happy New Year. Been wanting to get you something out to you for a while now, but I've had a hard time coming up with something that you don't already have. I think I finally found some releases you might not have, which I did not. Very cool. Um, I hope you enjoy these. They're all clean and ready to go. I've talked about McCoy Tyner Enlightenment on my channel many times. It's a favorite of mine. I'll be interested to hear your thoughts on it. Um, I'll be interested to listen to it. You have a great channel, and I'm always interested in seeing what you show. Best wishes into the new year, Bill the Vinyl Verse. Thank you, Bill. Um, it means a lot sending something, and especially coming from you, my friend. So back at you. Happy New Year, and um, yeah. Um, so next, I got some more mail, stuff I ordered on 
pretty sure all this stuff's on eBay. Um, it's an interesting packaging here. Holy cow. I would love people on eBay, their packaging. Holy smokes. I thought I pre-did all these things. Sorry, guys. Um, I've been finding some really good stuff on eBay lately. Um, I've had a lot of money to play with in my PayPal because I've been selling a lot of stuff on eBay. And eBay is kind of all associated with a thrift store. You have to go often in order to score. And I buy often on eBay and I check often. So I've been scoring. Sketches of Spain, one I did not have, and it's a must. Um, it's only the two eye, but he said it was in great shape, which it looks to be. So, for the price I paid for this, which was under ten dollars, yeah, exactly, uh, I couldn't pass it up, I had to come home. So that is Sketches of Spain, um, arranged and conducted by Gil Evans. Yeah, looking forward to putting that on. The other one I got from this seller. I think I remember, but I've been trying to, I mean, before I start talking about it, yep. Okay, so I've been trying to get a lot from this um, artist, uh, but it's harder to find. So I was happy to get this, an original Chet Baker Quintet on the crown label, which you don't see very often. Um, there's a crown label. Uh, I love Chet Baker. Uh, it's a whole different kind of sound, the West Coast jazz, but I mean, I really dig it. Perfect shape. Um, both of these were under ten dollars, guys. I mean, I don't know how you beat that. Both in perfect shape. Uh, don't be afraid to buy stuff on eBay, guys. Just because you think it's not going to be in good shape and arrive. I mean, look at that killer album. I think I paid nine dollars for this. Seriously. Okay. Move along here. Next up, oh, okay, I remember getting this one. This is a uh, horse silver quintet. Quintet or sextet? Sextet. The Jody Grind. It's one of his later albums, um, but still a good one. I think it's on the blue, blue note label. Oh no, it is, it's a Liberty Press. Cool, first pressing. Couldn't remember. Perfect condition, and like I said, I just been scoring these on eBay, guys. Just keep checking all the time. I check probably two or three times a day. Cool gatefold. Not one I see all the time, so I was happy to get that. Who plays on this with? Um, it was starting to get hot with this fire behind me. Uh, Woody Shaw, Tyrone Washington, Roger Humphreys, Larry Widler, Riddler, Ridley, and Tyrone Washington. Very cool. Uh, I did listen to that album online, and it's, uh, it's a really good album. And the last one, I think, is not a jazz album, so how about that? this album for a while but I didn't want to pay up for it this was also under ten dollars shipped this T-Rex the slider gatefold 
been wanting a copy of this for quite a while, but just didn't want to pay crazy price for it on a brown reprise label. So, pretty cool, man. Good album. Glam Rock. Mark Bolin. Looking forward to playing this. It's kind of cool. The lyrics are all on the inside. And it's in good shape. So, I think that's going to do it, guys. Uh, but thanks for sticking in there for this mail call VCLT. Um, hope you guys are having a good week. And we'll catch you... Uh, Oh, some other time. I guess. Bye.